Hola guys and girls and welcome to a new Keyforge Crucible gameplay video. This time we are going to use the deck Eva das Phantom Begleiter der Grube, which is one of my oldest deck I own. And uh, yeah, I decided just to put it up for a spin. It is one of my highest SRS ranked decks as well. As you can see, SRS rating of 80 is actually the second highest deck I've owned. The highest has an 81 rating right now. And this is actually the deck which uh, gave me my qualification for Worlds, which of course we were skipped due to COVID, will be probably skipped for this year again. But uh, yeah, that I was able to get. Actually, only get second in the Prime Championship. But do that the guy who got first won his qualification in the uh, uh, German National Championship. He already had a qualification for Worlds. So the qualification got to me as the second winner of that Prime, Champion or ch 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 uh, prime Championship. So uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, what is this deck? It's basically some Kota, Standard Shadows, and Untamed with like some Support Sanctum. Lots of Steel Shadows with Bait and Switch, Ghost, Ghostly Hand, Nerf Blast, Double Lens, Whispers. We do have the Fagin with Double Urge and stuff like that. And then on the Untamed side of things, we do have Triple, Hint, Triple Hunting Witch, we do have the Fluxia, we do have the Full Moon, we do have Nerf Fantasy to uh, get some reshuffling going. And yeah, and then the Sanctum part is more support. We have our board wipe there in the spirit's way. We have our artifact removal there in Norm of Orm with Sage of Brotherhood and Bulwark. We can like make good use of our uh, board with Commander Rim and stuff like that. Keep and protect with the Bulwark. And yeah, some additional Amber Control with the Terms of Address and the Honorable Claim with actually a good amount of Knights. Uh, all of these are Knights. So yeah, we got five Knights in the, in the squad. But uh, yeah, that's the deck. Now let's hop into a competitive match with that. And let's see, either I should have that. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, 76% win rate, definitely not bad. But uh, yeah, let's see if we get an opponent, and I will cut till we have one. There we go, we do have an opponent. We have Doizera or Doizer, I don't really know how to pronounce that. But yeah, let's just hop into the match, which our opponent, a good luck, had fun. And yeah, looking at the deck, we do see some words collide shenanigans, we do see lots of. Uh, purging double Kirby, double lay of the land, definitely scary there. And yeah, seems it has to be pronounced more French, so this is definitely a French name. And Laurent Lafreux, I want to say, is that how that's called? But yeah, we are the first player, we do have seven cards in hand. And yeah, starting with Flux here, it's actually not bad. I'm just going to keep the go of Untamed and get my guarantee to Ember due to the Fluxia. Come on, can I not do this? Play Screecher, let's do that, this, and end the turn. Yeah, just uh, nice because I'm guaranteed to have the have Ember there. Uh, okay, I have a reminder of something. Let's see what he writes there. Do -do -do. This is casual competitive. Uh, comp. I definitely did look for a competitive match. Oh, did I? I mean, duh. got the wrong deck. I mean, that doesn't look bad. Definitely like a, looks like a good deck. So I don't know. What we'll see. Um, so, yeah, that's have Kirby. Kirby is protected as well. Not too much we can do about that. I think I just get my un my Sanctum stuff on the board. Of course, Bulwark is nice because it helps already with us uh, being safe of the Poison Wave once I decide to play that. We do draw actually more Sanctum. Okay, so I might just go with Sanctum again there. Uh, go to Star Lines to reap, 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 I assume, and then play some more action cards. Yeah, I, can't, I don't have Reach for the Kirby yet. I do have lots of stuff to... Oh, and Nature's Call. To bounce my flux here. Okay, that's an interesting choice. For sure, interesting choice. Mm, just get a good amount of ember, obviously. I uh, can place Kirby again and then play something else. And most likely get to check, which I won't be able to prevent. Oh, put you at equilibrium. That's definitely nice as well. Okay, we do have some good untamed stuff there, but it's, we can prevent the check actually with the Urkim, I don't think that's worth it, I'd rather get to check myself. I could force him to go with uh, this again, which I'm actually fine with, yeah, let's force him to go with uh, Starlines again, and just get to check ourselves, because uh, Starlines, he most likely can prevent our check, but he has to answer these hunting witches, because otherwise it's going to be tough for him. Spirit's Way is nice, because that actually allows us to deal with the board we see right here. And uh, yeah, fights there, probably, uh, oh, okay, he wants to, I mean, that makes sense as well, to get rid of the Witch of the Eye there. Um, uh, well, I guess the Pulpy Weight will definitely fight with the other Hunting Witch, the question, uh, probably Kirby as well. Mm, yeah, he can just kill uh, all my Hunting Witch, which is fine with me. Oh no, he reads Kirby, okay, interesting. Play an Axiom and get what back? 
Hopefully something will free our power. The Bramble Links, okay, that comes into play already, but he can't use it yet. So, uh, quite, so I could get two additional ammo if, I mean, no, uh, this survives obviously the, the Spirit's Way, so yeah, just go Sanctum, board wipe him, and then get two additional ember, do that, do that, and end the turn. So now we are at even ember, uh, but I have the board advantage. But uh, yeah, let's see how we can perform from here. We do see that, so he kills my hunting recently through the uh, through the uh, armor. And what else do you see? Key charge, cold and boil. Um, I think I do just go untamed though again. Get the seed on the board. Uh, get you on the board. Get you on the board. Get you on the board. And then turn there. And he concedes. Okay, interesting. Um, came pretty much out of nowhere. The game was definitely still going. Don't know why he conceded there, but uh, yeah, let's just go for another one. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't really know why he conceded there. Uh, maybe he had to go or something like that, I assume. But then, I mean, he did right before. I probably would have wrote, wrote something then if he had to go or something. But either way, he just conceded there for some reason. I mean, yes, I had the advantage, I guess. But yeah, the game was far from over. But either way, play versus DTA Rafa, so we don't have to wait too long for another match. So let's uh, hop into that, drop on the good luck, have fun. Let's see what is the deck. Another punch in the game, so we see that again. And yeah, let's just start the game. We are first player again. No flux here, turn one this time. Lots of Ember control, which I'm not a fan of. Like, I think we can mulligan this. Never Deceit first turn is nice, but I think I want to mulligan this. Uh, yeah, this looks. I mean, I don't really know if this looks better necessarily. Mmm. Yeah, it doesn't really. I mean, I could have kept the other hand to be fair. Because in the fantasy, like, I will. Which of the I will probably first play first, but. Doesn't really do much for me. And, yeah, but. To be fair, uh, first turn is the turn the, the opponent has the least chance of having an answer for what you play. So this might lead to my which of actually staying in the field. Because it's just statistics. The opponent only has five cards in hand right now, so at the least time you had to draw an answer for something. So we do the autoencoder first turn, Qmax, and that's it. Um, I am just gonna go. Am I just gonna go Shadows? Uh, does he have damage pips on his stuff? Not, I mean, he has the. No, not really. I can just. The damage discharge he has, yeah. Could have damage discharge. That would force him to go with Logos again. So I'm gonna go Shadows and I am gonna Poison Wave. Uh, even though I will damage my own creature there. But then I can play you, uh, you to the left there, and then the Fagan, and then end the turn. Don't have an Urken yet. Uh, Witch of the Eyes just most likely just dying before they can do something. I don't really draw anything untamed wise. And there is the Vemos Lightbringer. Okay, so it gets everything with Elusive. <laughs> Sadly, all of my creatures had Elusive, so that was a pretty good draw of his. Um, and yeah, he just keeps, he just has all the Ascentum in hand and gets rid of my board that way. Let's hope we can start making a comeback with something. But with what we have in hand, not really. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go with my Sanctum to hope and draw some stuff. Uh, I don't really want to fight with my Ramiel, so let's just play him. Play you as well. To capture onto you. End the turn. And yeah, it's definitely tough that the, like, <laughs> that the Vemos Badbringer right there when I just filled my board with, uh, with Elusis. But yeah, that's uh, such is a game uh, of cards, which will always depend on draws. Let's hope we can make a comeback, though. And he goes with Sanctum again. So he keeps having a Sanctum in hand, which of course is scary if Bond already has a big Sanctum board. We do need our Spirits way then. Spirits, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, he probably will generate enough Ember for me to bait and switch him. Uh, yes, he does. So I'm definitely going to go for that. Then he falls off the iron something. Yeah, let's go Shadows. Let's bait and switch for one. Let's see, we can kill the Seeker of Truth or one of the Squire Alices. And I think the Squire Alices is the more annoying star, so let's first do... Or just do... To be fair, I don't really want to play Red Twisters because I don't have anything to steal. So let's, if I do that, let's see, I get... I got one from Nerfless already, so I'm at 3 Ember right now. I would get another one there. I'm at 4 Red Whispers. Would not give me more. So I just kill the Seeker of Crew. Actually, keep my resistance in hand. Okay, that's a uh, good untamed stuff. Uh, Flexia, not that great, but still the full moon. I can get some Ember there. Uh, obviously, my opponent has the bigger board. 
<laughs> Lost in the woods, okay. So he will get rid of some stuff on his side. But probably would still play. I mean, I would have him to, yeah, like I said, he still plays stuff. Um, doesn't get the four ember though, so yeah, that, I just go with untamed. Full moon, hunting witch. Flaxia will give me two, and then the boy of the bear on Flaxia, because hunting witch will most likely die. But we are a check right now, and that is pretty nice. Mm, I hope he. Let's see, let's go with that. Yeah, that means I won't be able to steal, because he will most likely generate at least one ember. Will most likely generate at least one ember. Okay, now I can't forge anymore because of the peace Maya. Right there, makes it stronger. And then put it in Cribium, okay. Makes me discard some stuff. Spirit's Way is good for nothing really on the... I mean, I can purge the Flume, to be fair. I do can purge the Flume. With Untamed, I can fight with the Fluxia and get some stuff going with the... Hunting. Mm. Go hunting would be able to kill the attendant that won't damage to something else. He probably distributes his ember now. Yeah, I need the spirit's way to really get some get progress into this match. So let's just first go with Sanctum though. Play Spirit's Way on the only target I can. Play you to the right, play you to the left. So now everyone has armor and the turn there. And there's Spirit's Way. That's what, what you want to see. That's what you want to see for sure. Um, so yeah, nice, nice, nice. I still have one Hunting Witch in the deck, right? Uh, no, I should not. Oh, the one got Equilibrium away, I think. One got Equilibrium away. So yeah, I hope he fills the board with more creatures and like just calls, I don't know what he didn't call, he logos and just play some more. I was wondering like well, why is he so much in the archives, but yeah, Puncture Ethereum without encoder of course allows you to archive everything you just uh, doesn't allow you to archive the cards you discarded, but for each you discard you get to archive something. Okay, um he has definitely a scary mutant thing going on with the serum as well, with or the mutant with Pismire and the uh Watchmajiga Sephologist. Damage discharge to deal some damage to my armored creatures. And then they die with Krizap. And he gives me enough Ember. Oh, and he can still capture with the Front of the Eye, to be fair. Can still do that. But yeah, definitely not going well. The 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 very early uh, thing, the, the guy which destroyed my Lucis, pretty much sealed the deal a lot for me. Mm, but I can board wipe him, a, a good amount at least. I think I have to do that, right? Do I have more hunting stuff I can hope for in the deck? Not really one big quick one seed. Um, I would get the to get to check. Yeah, it, it's, it just makes more sense to do that. Kill those and then boom. Sadly, give my opponent the first key. But not too much we can do about that as of now. Uh, Ember-wise, we are not too much behind, but board-wise, we are massively behind. He has like all the all, all, all of the artifacts and still two creatures. There's the Lightbringer again. So I guess it's good he drew it now and not after I played the board full of uh, Elusas again. And there's the Smite as well. Squire Alice, yeah, handful of Sanctum again. Yeah, there we go. Just yes, <laughs> yes. Good. Like, did I just kill these two like not too long ago? Why did he redraw those into into them right away? Ugh, 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 ugh. I think this is a GG. My because my thing I'm not my deck is not that at that fast drawing wise. Um, I think it's GG because now like I would need the the board wipe again, but I mean these wouldn't even die through that. Okay, I will keep playing. But, like I said, it's very likely we just lose. Um, very, very likely we just lose. We can do one damage here, and do we want to kill you? Yeah, why not? I'd rather have him draw than having uh, getting more ember. But yeah, the game is most likely over. The, the, this play, two devastating sanctum turns. Two devastating sanctum turns, too much. 
too much for my deck at least. Like I said, I would need my my I would need tremendous draw luck <laughs> getting my uh, getting the right cards here. Yeah, he lost in the woods there as well. Just keeps clearing my board. Where I have a lot, lot of struggles clearing his board, and he can just keeps keeps haunting. He can just keep haunting of the eye. I'm just here looking at what he does, and yeah, um, I can steal too, but just I do want more. Do I have more damage stuff? No, I do have the hunting rage though. Yeah, I think just. I need to try and develop some kind, some semblance of a bot. Some semblance of a bot. Otherwise, I'm just struggling big time. And all my untamed stuff is still in there. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to draw my untamed stuff, I'm not gonna lie. But sadly, that's still the two in the, like the Hunter Witch for sure, with Big Twig, and could have given me some leeway, uh, at my generation at least. Now I have to rely on the Shadow stuff, which. Since he doesn't have any Ember right now, might not be able to really uh, get me much. Since I could theoretically steal free. It's the Keylog, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, I can destroy it with normal, so that's, not, that's a Krizap. Okay, so he just makes a little. Okay, that makes sense. That does. I mean, he can capture two again. I mean, it makes sense that he. Okay, does that thing to archive them? Smoke go. Smoke go to capture two. Then he gets to. Use the healer right away. Which is probably the smartest way to use it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go with shadows. What am I most worried about? The mm. fonts of the eye are the thing I'm most worried about. So play one urchin, another urchin, and then kill his this guy. And theoretically, I'm a check again. Theoretically, I'm a check again. The question is, how long can we keep that up? I would need some insane ember generation this next few turns to still win this. Because it's untamed. Mm, what bounty? You can buy nature. Yeah, he's just, yeah, it's, I mean, I have the Bruno. <laughs> I do have the Bruno. Never mind, I don't have Bruno anymore. But I do have bait and switch. And this is, okay, actually, this hand is better. <laughs> this hand is better. <laughs> you just you could leave me a better hand. Okay, the piss me I is super annoying because I can't kill him sadly. Um I can't kill him to be fair. I have to. Do I no I can't yeah I have to go shadows. I have to steal one this way. I have to fight him. I have to fight him. Then I have to relent this whisper him. Yeah, play Noddy and the Pagan. Um, but yeah, the Pissmire there was super. Because that allowed my bait switch only to steal one. Mm, let's see. Shadow, theoretically, I can steal three. Because one of the Urken, one of Noddy, one of Nerd Blast. That's theoretically free, if like nothing happens with the board. With Sanctum, I can capture four Amber, potentially. With the Honorable Claim, we'll get tapped on my two Knights. And then with the Terms of Rest, it's another two. With inspiration, I could theoretically use my. Okay, never mind. He just he just has the beamers again. <laughs> he of course has the beamers again. <laughs> uh, of course, when I have a board of losers, the beamers is there once more. Once more, we have the beamers. Mm. Okay. We just have to. I get two ember that way. Three ember. That's. That's not enough. Three that's not enough. I can still. I can. I mean, I can still try. Let's see. Mm. Is this only user friendly? Yes, yeah, just that. So it doesn't make sense to make him fight with something. Because we first play you, then we play you, then we play the honorable claim. And then we play the inspiration to make you fight versus you. And then we play you to make capture more on you. I don't know. Why not? But we have one shot. We need a lot of stealing. That's not a lot of stealing, I think. That's not a lot of stealing. Because he will... He can, he can just kill my Zarkir there. Yeah, the 
that definitely the the Vemo type rank, definitely the MVP for my opponent there. Definitely the MVP for my opponent. Vemo's coming in uh, three times in total and two times very devastating Lee. He has lots of Arkad in the archives, I doubt he like if he theoretically if he doesn't get to check this turn, then I can do stuff. Or doesn't only get to check with like six ember, then I can do stuff. But it's like super unlikely. Super duper unlikely. And he's apparently have eleven cards in hand. Uh, I would have to, like I said. <laughs> the game like I, I was playing from behind from a lot. I got a lot closer than I thought, but it, it's like theoretically it's close because like I'm last key five ember, yeah. But the whole game was me struggling to not lose. It was never that. What that's the, I thought. Okay, it's even, or I will win. Like the whole, <laughs> the whole time, I, I still had the mindset of, yeah, my opponent is probably gonna win. So it, the 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 ember and and keys are uh, uh, maybe a bit deceptive in how close this game actually was because I don't really think that was close. My opponent was uh, the for like the whole game he was uh, ahead. Mm, yeah, you just need to generate enough ember or kill my Zaki and it's over. So. One of the two. One of the two. That's not yeah, that is GG. GG. Let's concede that and have for another one because we're at 22 minutes. I uh, would like no no need for a rematch. Let's leave the game, go for another one. And yeah, for a for good one because I mean oh, that's the that's the wrong deck. I'm sorry, mister, that was the wrong deck. There we go. Now I can use the right deck. I don't like that the uh, it's lagging like this. It always makes me want to click already, but no, we want to use Eva. There we go. We have this Trevolo. So that's so we can take a win there. I mean, last game was definitely a good game, but I I want to win. <laughs> that's the goal of this. I want to get games where I win. So that's why I said I want to have another one. Okay, we do say some uh, words glide again with some Chinese, Asian, Taiwan. I, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. I'm sorry. It's Asian. That's what I can tell you. Triple Mustic, Key Charge, Shenanigans, Double Garcia, Medic, blah blah blah. Yeah, let's do some, let's do some nothing too fancy. I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh no. But like, good Untamed, good Loras, good Starlines. Just a good, good, good of everything. I start once again. Um, I think I want to move in this. Um, this looks a bit. Well, this looks better, yeah. Um, what do we want to start with, though? Just a seed? Just the seed? Yeah, just the seed. I just put the seed out. Okay, we have the promising start of, a prom of a promising, uh, double, double promising, very important to say that. Uh, I do have the makings of a pretty uh, insane uh, Butch Magica. Um, didn't change any ember, so this I will still use it to. I'll just go with shadows. I could board wipe him as well with the seed, but I want to use him to. I want to use the seed to make more of a bigger impact. Play the Noddy and then learn to split first the Medic Kingdom away. Like I said, we won't steal since the phone didn't generate any Ember. But I'd rather use C, for example, like some double full moon shenanigans. If I draw more untamed creatures, sadly I do not. Sadly I do not. I think I. Do I want to be greedy? I think I want to be greedy. I do indeed think I want to be greedy. Do they have any five power creatures I want to like desperately purge away? I mean if he does like light of the Archon snare again, something might be in the area of being too strong where I want to do that. But I think what's fine as well is just going with Shadows and Nerf Blasting this Chan away because the ball is getting a bit too big for double chan. Okay, that's that's good. Like I said, I, I want more untamed creatures, but that's still good. Like if my opponent keeps developing on the board. Uh, I can punish him at least a little bit for that. But I am, I, I am aware that I'm getting greedy here, but I know what this deck can do. And I know that there's like a lot of stuff I can, like my untamed is mostly creatures. As you can see here, there's still one, two, three, four, five, six out of the eight. Six of the eight untamed cards left are creatures. So the question, does he get to check here? That would be annoying. Yeah, he does get to check. But we can at least kill him, so that's not a, not a problem. 
that we can steal, but my opponent will get the first key, sadly. Yeah, because he had just all of the all of the loggers. All of the loggers. Um yeah, we go Sanctum. We play this with our tie. Oh, we play this. We play this. There we go. We play this with our tie, so we just discard it and then play the bulwark. Then end the turn. Three more cards, and there we go. That's what I wanted to see. And one more creature. The Corporate Hunting, that's fine. Corporate Hunting will be good. Uh, we can do we the question is do we seed for the double full moon, which gives us a total of six for creatures. And then with the hunting witch I get another one, two here, so it's eight ember. Oh wait, yeah, eight ember total. Eight ember total, which is pretty good, I wanna say. Does he have like graft or something like that? Oh, he has couple of research. But he um, could have it, sadly. Yeah, a couple of research could be a thing. So I could seed for something else as well. I could just keep the seed and not use it and just use my full moon to get a total of one, two, three, four, five ember, which would still give me to eight. Would still bring me to eight for cover research, so it's not... I mean, I could only go to seven ember, to be fair. I could only go to seven ember and kill the, the Garcia. I think I want to do that. Let's do that. Let's play the full moon. Then first, let's play you. Then play the Hunting Witch, then play the U, so I only get to 7 Ember. And then a Common Hunter, you can do 4 damage, so let's do 1, 2, 3, and then 1 here, why not? I could have played him next to a Bulwark as well, that's probably an oversight on my part. But yeah, now I'm only a 7 Ember, so I'm not in cut for research range. And now I get to all the stealing! I can do all of the stealing! Nice! Nice, 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 that's good. Like I said, I could have gotten... Uh, three more ember out of the turn, or four more ember, theoretically. Um, but I didn't want to be at a research range, which uh, my opponent could very likely have in hand, since he only has 12 cards left in the deck. Probably the, the Igor is killing my hunting witch here. Um, I can probably set up a ghostly hand. Oh, yes. Oh, no. No. Bad. Bad, that's of course annoying as well. Could have seeded for. I could have seeded for just another combo of hunting to be fair and killed the Igor. But I want to keep it around for something else. No, that's annoying. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, Mr. Traveler. Why do we have. Why do we have in hand what you need? <laughs> why do we have in hand what you need and not the uh, cover research? Did you play your cover research already? Did I miss that? Was it in display? Oh, you already played that. Now I'm just a dummy. Like I was feeling smart playing around stuff, but turns out you don't have to play around stuff if it doesn't isn't there. I can't I can't do it. I can't do the copy hand thing. I can only steal five and then he still yeah, sadly can't. But I, just, I was definitely still going shadows to be fair, to like get all of the to get all of the ember, all of the juicy juicy ember. Doesn't matter if I go to the end now or not. And do that. Does he have some kind of board wipe I have to worry about? Under selection, he does have and one unnatural selection left. Ugh, which could was will likely happen. If, he's, if I see untamed, I'm definitely expecting an unnatural selection. Or did he play two already? Like, no, no he says untamed here. Un unnatural selection time. One he played I know, already, I knew that. Mm. Mustic. I mean, why would you play the Mustic now if you're under selection? That wouldn't make sense, because then you can first kill three. And then, yeah, now it doesn't have any selection. Okay, that's good. My my shit stays on the board. Mm, how do we deal with those mustics, though? What do you have? It's no silence. Okay. I think I just go with Sanctum here. Yeah. Kill one mustic this way. If I go with shadows, I can kill one mustic as well. Mm, I would have to offer my elegance for that. Untamed, I would be able to kill one as well. Do, how do I have money? Untamed creatures left. I mean, I do a good amount. So let's go with Sanctum. Let's go with the Sanctum. Play you to the right, play you to the right, play you, and you can fight with this one of the Mustics so we can start not forging for a whole lot. 
Usually I like to get the um, City of Road earlier. Just having that on board with like the Commander Ramels just leads to insanely strong turns. Okay, Light of the Archons onto the Fuzikurin, okay, so he makes that stronger. Mm, Frey to capture, onto Frey itself. Moon to. Okay, now I can rearrange <laughs> actually with the Bulwark, actually comes into play that he can do that. Can decide what gets the armor now and what not. Most likely gonna go with Shadows next turn. Most likely. Okay, gets the uh, uh, Urken the armor. Oh no, never mind. Mm, could go with Sanctum as well. Sanctum makes Sanctum is pretty good as well, to be fair. Sanctum is pretty good as well, to be fair. Mm, yeah, Sanctum I feel like more. Get my cards out of my hand. Can, can use this bear to kill the last Murmok. Reap a bunch. Mm, go with shadows. I, could, I would have to uh, sacrifice my Urkins to kill the Mustic. Yeah, let's go with Sanctum. Let's do go with Sanctum. First, with terms of, terms of redress onto you. Then that's honorable claim. Then let's see, you can reap, you I want to fight onto the frame, you I want to reap with, so you can fight versus you and die, and then end the turn there. I don't care what ruin is like, like I don't even know if you can purge stuff, so I'm fine with things going that way. I do have lots of things captured now. I do have, okay, stealth mode, no action cards. Uh, we see Garcia, so he makes my key more expensive. I can't play no action cards. What makes me want to play? Probably uh, Sanctum then. I mean, I can't play Inspiration, so Shadows? Probably Shadows. Moon to kill my Remio. Okay, we fought for 8, sadly. That makes me want to play Shadows. Just read three times, put the Noddy on the board. Mm, yeah, okay. That's I can still hope for more of my bait discard. No, I want to. How much shadows do I have left? Only the bait and switch. So I probably want to discard the just to have more potential for, to uh, to draw into um, what you call it to draw into untamed stuff. So I'm just going to discard you. End the turn. Yes. Yeah. Big tweak. That's the stuff I want to see. Because now I have some good, some insane ammo generation with my untamed turn. He goes with loggers again. What do we see? Uh, under, under selection. Oh, but wow, why will into an selection? That I mean, he had a 50 50 chance. He only had two hearts deck left in the deck. So it's fair. It's definitely, I can't complain about that. It's fair. At first, I was like, oh no, why did he get that? <laughs> but it does make sense. Like, he, I mean, he was unlucky with getting it so late, to be fair, as well. So I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> There are only two decks in the deck left in the deck. It was it would have been unlucky as well if he wouldn't get that. Then he fights with something or reaps. No, he reaps. Okay, stuns something. Stuns my noddy. Makes sense. Uh, gets that on the board. Yeah, I'm just generating a bunch of ember and hope I win. That's the plan. That is indeed the plan. One hunting witch down. Another hunting witch down. Big twig down. And then you onto you. Then that's that's it. Nine Ember. He has Garcia on board. I don't know what theoretically he could have still. Oh, he could key charge me. Oh wait, the key charge got discarded very early. So hmm, he could have the second Garcia in hand. That could be a thing. We do see Untamed though. So get do we get key charge here? I could re could have redrawn it. I mean, not much we can do then. We get key charged. Yeah, that's key judge. Yeah, he just he redrew he drew that too early. GG. That was still a close one. Like I said, this is what kind of what this deck is missing. A, a key cheat. My dear, my opponent redrew very early into his key charge, so what can you do? What can you do? It's two cards out of the deck, out of his deck, he could have redrawn, which saved him there. And one which ended the game as well. So uh, yeah, sometimes sometimes games end like this. But yeah, we have 35 minutes, so I'm gonna end this here. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, of course, leave a like, comment, subscribe, if you know the deal. Hit me on Twitter and Facebook. All the links in the description. And I will see you another time. Ciao.